Hey everyone, another self-isolation bonus video where we take a blast into the past to look at some old commands from Pro Engineer. This time though, we're going to take a look at a command that's actually still in the Creo parametric interface. It's called the Blend Tangent to Surfaces. You'll notice that this one even has a bit of a different interface than the rest of even Pro Engineer and Creo parametric today. First though, before we go into this command, I want to show why it's actually no longer necessary. Here in my model, I have a couple of different bosses in here. Let's say that I wanted to put some draft on the side surfaces. You'll notice that these features have some rounds up in the top. Back in the day, you were not able to do that with the draft tool usually what you would have to do is use insert mode to go back into the past history and then do the draft feature first i forget when they changed that they might have added that enhancement around wildfire 4 or wildfire 5 so we're talking about a good dozen years or so that you've been able to draft features like this for example let's go into the draft tool and i want to draft this surface it's automatically going to be propagated to the tangent surfaces i can right mouse click and activate my draft hinges collector and i'll pick this top surface as the draft hinge let's drag this out let's put in a nice big amount let's try 10 degrees of draft in there and then hit the middle mouse button easy peasy really easy to create these days in Creo Parametric, we have our draft in there. Back in the past, it wasn't so easy. And there's actually quite a bit of complex math going on here in creating the geometry. Let's suppress this feature out of here, and I'll show you how you had to do this back in the day. So let's go to the surfaces overflow. Actually, before I go to the blend tangent to surfaces, I need to create a sketch for where the draft is supposed to intersect this particular surface here. So let's click on the surface. Let's go to the sketch tool. I'm going to use the offset command and let's use chain. And I'm gonna offset both of these edges over here. Yes, I wanna convert it to a loop. Let's use a nice big value of 0.5 to exaggerate it. Let's close out of here and hit the check mark. Now that I've got the sketch, I can create a blend from this sketch tangent to these surfaces up here. So I will go to the surfaces command and then blend tangent to surfaces. And really there's a lot going on in this dialog box. I remember 15 and 20 years ago, back when I used to teach the surfacing classes for Pro Engineer, I always dreaded having a student ask, hey, what can you explain this dialog box to me? Just because there's so much going on inside of here. First off, again, this is to simulate a draft and you can choose if you want to pull in one or two directions. In this particular case, for this part, I would be pulling upward. So let's just do one-sided. I will select this surface. Here we have a pull direction, that's good. So I will click OK out of the menu manager. And you have a few different options in here. Right now we're doing a curve-driven tangent draft. You could also do tangent draft with constant draft angle outside of a drafted surface, or constant draft angle inside of a drafted surface. And I think really some of the enhancements in uh, Creo recently have made it so that you could draft a previously drafted surface. So I think these two options are no longer relevant. All right, so that is the first tab. Let's go to the references tab. You need to select your draft line and I'm gonna select using the control key, both of these curves over here and then OK and done out of the menu manager. What is this supposed to be tangent to? Right now it is set to automatic. I'm gonna use the pick icon to select these two surfaces and click the OK button. You also have this option here for parting surface. So you can see from the figures, they have a legend down here to try to explain what the various picks mean inside of here. And we have an options tab where you can choose other things like a closing surface, spine curves, and a cap angle. So there's really quite a lot of stuff that you can do inside of here for controlling your geometry. We can preview. Hey, that's the resulting surface. That's good. I will hit the check mark. 
And be aware that this actually does create a surface feature. If I hide it, there you can see the underlying geometry. Let's make it visible again. Now I can use the solidify command in order to fill with solid inside of there, hit the check mark, and now we have essentially draft created on there. Again, it was really easy just using the draft tool over here. Quite a bit of work back in the day in order to do that. Here's where you'll see the real advantages. So again, I've got this boss over here, and let's say I realize, oh wait, we're going to cast this. I need to have draft on the different surfaces. Let's see how easy it is to do today. Let's choose draft. I will pick one of these surfaces here. It'll propagate to the tangent. Let's right click and act activate the draft hinges collector and pick this surface over here and then drag this out. Let's do about five degrees of draft. That's good. Hit the check mark with the draft feature still selected. I can use the pattern feature to get the other ribs that are part of the feature and then to draft these different surfaces. Hey, let's select it and then we will click the draft tool and right mouse click and activate the draft hinges. Pick this surface over here, drag it out again to about five degrees, hit the check mark. Boom, we have it drafted. Again, that was pretty easy. Just a draft, a pattern, and a draft. Let's suppress these again and take a look at how you would have done this 20 years ago. All right, so first off, I need to create a couple of sketches. For the first sketch, I'll just use previous to jump into sketch mode. And we are going to do an offset once more. Let's do a chain. I'm going to offset from here to there. I will accept that loop. The arrow is pointing the wrong direction, so let's do negative 0.25 to the outside. That is good. Close out of there and hit the check mark. For the second sketch that I'll use in these operations, sketch, use previous. I'm going to add to my sketch references this cylinder over here. And then let's create a circle and drag it out over here some distance. Let's dimension from the sketch reference over there, middle mouse button. Let's use 0.25 again. All right, that's good. Let me hit the check mark. Now I've got my two different sketches. Let's go into surfaces, blend tangent to surfaces. We're going to do one sided using this plane. That is a good direction, so I will click the OK button. Let's now go to references. And for my curves, let me select this. I'm using the control key to grab all these different segments over there. OK, done. Tangent 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's good. OK, hit the check mark. So there is my surface. Let me turn on my axis in a mo uh, because I'm going to try to pattern this. If I try to do just a reference pattern and hit the middle mouse button, it fails. So let's delete pattern and let's select the surface again. This time when I go to pattern it, I will use an axis pattern. I always forget which one it is from here. There it is. Pick the axis, four of them located 90 degrees apart. That is good. Now let's create our other surface, blend tangent surface. And again, one-sided, pick this surface over here. OK for the direction. Go to the References tab. Let's pick our curves. OK, done. And then Tangent 2, this surface, this surface over here. OK, hit the check mark. There we have our drafted surface. Let's hit the Solidify button. Let's fill with solid. Hit the check mark. And so that's the first one. Then let's go back to our previous surface. Wait, nope. Let's go back to this surface over here. Solidify, fill with solid, hit the check mark, and then pattern this one. Hit the check mark, and that way we have simulated the draft inside of there. So look at all these different features. That
that I needed to make back in the day in order to draft those different services. Whereas again, today, easy peasy. I just did a draft, patterned it, did a draft, and I was good to go. So again, that is the old school blend tangent to surfaces. Anyhow, I want to give a shout out to our first responders, our police officers, our firefighters, and our EMTs. Also, thanks to our grocery store workers and the people keeping food on the shelves. And, of course, our doctors, nurses, and people keeping hospitals up and running. Thank you very much.